Hello, folks. Thanks for joining us here on Prime Time. I'm Chris Paul. You know, I've been always, you know, the show's growing, starting to be with Victor Valley Television and our director, Tom Bogdis, now is helping us put new shows together about it's always going to be what In Your Town was. People, places, things, especially food. And I'm glad a lot of people like that. And I, I just give a big shout out. Thank you very much. And we, we thought with now being with Victor Valley Television that we'd broaden ourselves in more places, people, food especially. So we're not going to get rid of that. But bring into the, into the show some people who do things around our communities all around. And then also places, thing, you know, places and things to do and to see. So in this show, our first show here, I thought I'd start off with something, you know, maybe you saw it before, but it you know, got a great response. So I thought I'd start off this uh, first show with tacos, tacos, tacos. Take a look at this. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm over here at Johnny Fingers today. I'm gonna talk up a little. I'm gonna put my camera down. I had to come and take some snaps of this. Let me show you guys this, what's going on at Johnny Fingers every, every Tuesday, folks. Chicken, carne asada. Oh. This is, these are good tacos. This is Taco Tuesday. We're always hearing about Taco Tuesday, so I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna hit Johnny Fingers, but we're gonna head down to the Desert Barn Brewery and also head out to three, third generation taco out in Apple Valley Airport. But the first stop is Johnny Fingers. Take a look. Okay, just got done inside there at Johnny Fingers Taco Tuesday. I've been wanting to do this. The carne asada, the chicken, the shrimp. What was the last one? Ground beef tacos here. Taco Tuesday, if you're in town in Victorville, I gotta say, thumbs up to Johnny Fingers. Let's head out to Desert Barn Brewery now. Okay, just like I was telling you guys, I wanted to come out and just do Taco Tuesday. But what a great place to start at. Desert Barn Brewery here with Sarah Waters. Tell us a little about your Taco Tuesday well, I menu. do agree, it was the best stop to make. Um, we have a, uh, actually five different tacos to choose from on Taco Tuesday. All these tacos are $1.50 each. Um, I'm gonna start right here with our vegetarian option, which is a deep fried spicy cauliflower. Uh, we also have pork belly, which was a huge favorite for everybody for a long time. It went away, it's back. Um, I also have a grilled fish, a chicken, a grilled chicken, and a carne asada that's locally sourced from one of the meat markets right down the street, actually. So dollar fifty. Which will be one of the places we're hitting too, which is El Torito. We're going to be hitting. But just to tell you guys, there's places to come out here. Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Hey, this is one of the best places to have tacos right here. One of the best. Oh, the best. The best. <laughs> Just got done at Desert Barn Brewery, so I thought, oh, still got the camera out. Hey, why don't we make an impromptu stop at El Torito, Mexican meat market. Their tacos here have been talked about a lot, so let's go check out their Taco Tuesday. Okay, so we were just driving by. We went to Desert Barn Brewery to start off, and how can I forget, like I said out there, El Torito. They've been here over 30 years, or I believe 30 years, Great place to come and get tacos. As you can see, these are the handmade tacos. I'll lift the plate up a little bit right there. Look at the handmade tacos they have here. And over here, where is it? Right here, El Pastor. Right there, I'm trying that on regular taco shells, but like I said, they have the, you can order the handmade. And over here is you got chicken, you got meatas, and carne asada. So don't forget Taco Tuesday, El Torito and Hesperia. Oh, we're on. Out here, Apple Valley Airport, still got the camera, still floating around or driving around as they say. Last place we're gonna hit is here at Apple Valley Airport. It is third generation taco, worth the trip alone. Let's go try out their tacos. Okay, last but not least of all is third generation taco out here for Taco Taco Tuesday. I'm here with Asensio. Tell me what we have here. All right, so on these plates here, we have a few different options for Taco Tuesday. We have carne asada. Uh, barbacoa, carnitas, chicken, and a pastor, and also ground beef. Uh, right here we have three different shells. We've got a double corn tortilla, crispy corn tortilla, and also flour. Uh, these three are carne asada, carnitas, and pastor. Uh, all of them come street style with onion, cilantro, and cotija cheese. Oh uh, yeah, but don't forget, new hours. Let them know yes. the summer hours. All right, so Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, we'll be open until 8 p.m. We open up at 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Every other day during the week, it is 8 a.m. to 3 p.m.
Well, folks, that's all I got to say about tacos, tacos, tacos. Every Tuesday, these places that I just showed you have great tacos. Go get some delicious, great tacos. When it comes to Tuesday, there's a couple of places. All right. On a side note, I'd like to tell you guys about coming up this, this Friday, I believe the 15th, Stage uh, Crafters Production. Right? I hope I got that right, Sheila. <laughs> Stage Crafters Production having a show, live theater. If you've never checked out live theater, it's in Victorville, please go check out the show. It's called The Prisoner of Second Avenue. You'll get a blast out of live theater. If you never have, I've gone and checked it out. Not this particular show, but I've gone to see live theater. Always fun. Go get your tickets. Call. Get your tickets today because the ticket it's filling up there, folks. So go check out the show. Great show and fun to be had by all. We'll be back after these messages. The Wine Cellar in Apple Valley. A place to come kick back, relax, and hang out with your friends. With a wide selection of fine wines and craft beers, along with a casual atmosphere. Come on by and unwind to the music at one of the friendliest places in town, where wine and food hit the spot, and your fun starts here. The Wine Cellar in Apple Valley. Just not wine, but craft beer too. Welcome to Arturo's, a nice place to come to for Mexican-American food where you can get your breakfast, hot links and sausage and eggs, as well as a turkey sandwich and fries. And don't forget about that carne asada enchilada plate that just makes my mouth water even now. We've been here uh, from uh, 2002 and uh, we've been, I've been cooking for all these beautiful people and uh, I'm so happy to be here all, all these years. A family-oriented restaurant, great seating, great place to come to, but just don't take my word for it. Great food. <laughs> family is relaxing, the food is always good. So we like it, we come here regularly. Awesome. Arturo's out in Phelan, California, Mexican-American food the way it should be. Delicious. Folks, here at Prime Time, we like to tell you about, of course, people, places, things, especially food. But, you know, every once in a while, we're hit with a, a sad note of, uh, you know, losing a loved one or somebody that you knew. And uh, a while back, our mayor, Mr. Russ Blewett, passed away. And it just, you know, I think it hit a lot of people. He was a great man and a very good man. He, he left a mark wherever he went. He was the mayor of Vesperia. He, he did have some disabilities, but let me tell you, you didn't know it because that guy was on the ball. He, his presence in a room was just like, oh my gosh, this is somebody I got to meet when I first met him. Now, I didn't get to meet him, unfortunately, as, as good as I would have liked to, but we lost a great man too soon. That's, that's all I got to say. Our prayers out to the family out there. We're going to leave you with a little footage that I don't know if some of you saw it on YouTube. But Jose Gonzalez does some great footage here about saying goodbye to Mayor Russ Blewett. God bless your family. Godspeed to you. We'll end it with this.